All right, former President Barack Obama takes the stage tonight at the Democratic National Convention. Taking a live look right now at the venue as day two is just hours away. So last night, President Biden passed the torch, cementing his legacy on the first night of the DNC. Vice President Kamala Harris and running mate Governor Tim Waltz, they were also in the building as the party paid tribute to President Biden. The theme tonight, a bold vision for America's future. CBS News Miami's Caroline Cummings shows us how day one unfolded from Chicago. This is going to be a great week. Vice President Kamala Harris made a surprise appearance to help kick off the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. But night one, themed for the people, also belonged to President Joe Biden. Biden was emotional as he hugged his daughter Ashley and took the podium to a rousing reception. Let me ask you, are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz? President Biden's speech came a month after he dropped out of the 2024 race and endorsed Harris last night. He touted their administration's accomplishments and slammed the GOP opponent, former President Donald Trump. Violent crime has dropped to the lowest level of more than 50 years. And crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. Celebrities, union leaders, and elected officials also took to the stage on night one, along with the party's 2016 nominee, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The future is here. It's in our grasp. Let's go win it. There were also sobering moments. Several women shared heartbreaking stories of living in places where abortion rights are restricted. Because of Louisiana's abortion ban, no one would confirm that I was miscarrying. I was in pain, bleeding so much my husband feared for my life. Outside of the convention, protests continued for a second day. Police say at least four people were arrested after some demonstrators breached a security fence. Caroline Cummings, CBS News, Chicago.